Hi, lady ho, and I see Marguerite. Don't say they saw tie on the little Cantonese corner. Gum yet, ye ling ya bali and sam yu ya sam ho sing game. So, hey there, hi everybody, and welcome to my little Cantonese corner. I'm Sue Marguerite, and today is Friday, March 23rd, 2018. So, TGIF. Um, today, we're going to be talking about what to say to your in laws. So, on the board here, I've got um, the word for in laws both on your husband's side and your wife's side because in Chinese family relationships are pretty defined and so no matter where you are in the family whether you're a cousin, an aunt, an uncle you have a specific name based on what side of the family you fall on and where actually where in the rank you are like if you're third in line like the third son or the third uncle um, the fourth aunt so anyway um, mother-in-law in uh, in Cantonese, on your husband's side is going to be this one. So you've got your husband's mom is your lai lai, lai lai. Okay, remember get those tones right because the basically it's the same character lai lai, but they're pronounced differently. The first one is low lai lai, right? So lai lai. Okay, and you'll notice there's an n there, but most people they use l for n, so it's lai lai. Okay, your husband's dad is going to be your lo ye, lo ye, and make sure that ye is pretty low. So they're both low tones, lo ye. If it's your wife's parents, your wife's parents, your wife's mom is going to be your ngoi mo, ngoi mo, and your, I'm over here, ngoi mo, and your dad, your wife's father is your eh, ngoi fu, okay? But of course, you're not going to probably call them, hey, father-in-law, hey, mother-in-law, um, just like in English you wouldn't, right? So you're not going to be like, oh, la la, I, no. So that's the word for mother and father-in-law on I, each side of the family. But you're probably going to just call them mom or dad, right? So you can call them mom or dad, or in Hong Kong, a lot of people call their mom, mommy, mommy. Even though they're older, it's not just um, exclusively used for little kids. Um, you'll find adults calling their parents um, or their mom mommy, okay? Or technically in Chinese it's uh, mama, mama, or ama. So on the board I've <laughs> I've squished in the ama. Ma is a uh, high tone, so ama is your mom, and baba is dad. So baba low to high, baba is dad. But if you just shorten it to a ba. Ba, the lower tone. It's kind of interesting that like the ma ma will take the high tone for a ma, but a ba is um, your dad. And be sure that you call your mom a ma, the high tone ma, or ma ma, because grandma in Chinese, uh, on your dad's side, yeah, is ma ma. Two low tones, ma ma, will be your grandma on your, um, on your dad's side. So you don't want to be saying, um, oh, a ma, if you're calling your mother-in-law mom, because that's not good. You'd be calling her like grandma. So you want to say a ma, okay? So that's um, what to call them, right? Well, I'm sure you call your mother and father-in-law either their name or else mommy or, or mom or, or dad. So let's move on. Okay, so the first thing I was thinking, like, well, what do I say to my mother-in-law? Um, if I didn't really know a lot of Cantonese in the beginning, but you want to, you know, you want to make her know or him know that you are trying, um, you could offer to help. That's always a good thing to do, isn't it? So the first one we've got is, let me help you, okay? So let me help you be, okay, I, I, bong is help, high tone up there, bong, lei. Again, the N and the L are interchangeable, so you'll hear me and other people say lei, but technically it's an N, so I put the N. So, ngo bon lei is a way to say, I help you, let me help you, I help you, uh, or dang ngo lei, dang ngo lei. Okay, that mid-rising, dang ngo lei. Okay, dang ngo lei means, um, let me, let me do it, okay, let me do it, or you know, let me help you. So um, that's one way to say that. So the second one is, let me get that for you. So to say that, let me get that for you, it's, it's pretty easy. 
um, 我 again 我攞俾你，我攞俾你，好唔好 ？Um, I just added on the 好唔好 is um okay, kind of like good, not good. Is that okay? So um, 我攞俾你，好唔好？誒，我攞俾你。Let me get that for you. Okay. Um, three. Let's go have dim sum because obviously that's always a very good thing to do, and a lot of times that is what people do: is families will get together and have dim sum on Sundays.、Uh, so that would always be a good thing to suggest. So you would say, you could say, "Ho go yum cha, yum cha, ho mu ho." Remember, yum cha is just the tea house act of going to have dim sum. So ho yum cha ho mu ho. If you wanted to say when, because I'm sure by now maybe you know some of your words for when, like、uh, tomorrow, next week. So if you want to say tomorrow, let's go yum cha ho mu ho, and you would say, remember the order is you'd put the subject first. So wo dai we, wo dai ting ya tomorrow, wo dai ting ya ho yum cha ho mu ho. You don't even need the ho. You could just say wo dai ting ya yum cha. 我哋听日饮茶好唔好 ？Okay, so or um, 我哋下个星期饮茶好唔好 ？All right, so that's a way to suggest. So let's go have dim sum, and then they'd say, "Oh, 好 or 唔好 or 唔得闲 Right? I don't have time. 唔得闲 Okay, that's three. Let's go have dim sum. So four, maybe they do something for you or um. Or they've、uh, made something for you, and you want to say, "Oh, wow, that was a lot of trouble. Thanks for all the trouble, or thanks for all the help." Okay, so that would be, "ma fan." "Ma fan" is trouble, right? So "ma fan sai le la," and wow, that was a lot of trouble for you. I guess is literally what they're saying. Trouble a lot, you, yeah. So "ma fan sai le la," okay. Or ma fan sai. You don't even have to say that.、Um, ma fan sai. Ma fan sai. You'll hear sometimes you'll hear people say that as a way to kind of you know thank you is the thank you. Of course, you're going to say thank you. Thank you. But ma fan sai. Ma fan sai is another way of saying like you know that was really trouble. That you went through a lot of trouble for that. So thank you. And then if 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 you do something for your in-laws, which quite often you will do, and they might say that to you, and so the response would be like. That la, that la, ma fan, right? That la is is okay. That la, ma fan, okay.、Uh, that la is just always a good thing to know to say because it just means like okay, you know. That la, ma fan, ma fan. Okay, so I hope those were useful. Those are just some things that you could start conversations or 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 little things you can say that if you don't know a lot of Cantonese yet to carry on a full conversation, use these and impress them with. Your want to、uh, converse with them, so I hope that helped.、Um, as usual, I really hope you guys subscribe to my channel and like my videos, and I will see you again here on my little Cantonese corner. TGIF, bye.